Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe I didn't film an intro or an outro for this. I'm so ashamed, but I love this Valentine's Day inspired look that I had to share it with you guys. So stay tuned and keep watching if you want to learn how to get this look. To start off this look, I'm using an Arbonne primer. This primer works pretty well for me. It's very silicone-y and smooth, and it creates a nice base for my makeup. And then I'm using the Wet n Wild New Photo Finish Foundation, which I am loving so far. The only thing that I'm not a fan of is the smell. It's a little chemical-y, but if you can get past that, it's got a gorgeous finish. And it's super inexpensive, so I'm a fan. Then I'm gonna blend it out with my Beauty Blender. Of course, it's a Dampen Beauty Blender. Um, and just pushing the foundation into my face. See how it just melts into my skin? I am impressed, clearly. This is my first time using it, so you're seeing my reaction um, and my first impression on camera. Then I'm building up the areas where I just want a little bit more coverage because this is sort of a more medium to lighter coverage. But as you can see, it builds up pretty well. To highlight and contour today, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Cream Contour Kit with a double-sided brush from Morphe, and I'm just applying the highlight to some of the areas of my face. Then I'm using my favorite oval brushes from Simple Glam Girls to apply the contour. As you can see, I'm definitely a little sporadic with the way that I apply my highlight and contour, but you just gotta do whatever works best for you. So first I like to blend a little bit, and then I like to add my contour back up to it add some contour to my cheekbones and build it up a little bit and then go back in and blend it all out and together. These brushes are definitely super nice for blending out these cream products. I really, really have enjoyed them. I have their 10-piece oval brush set, which comes with a variety of different size brushes. You can see that I use quite a few in this video. As you can see, I've also brought the contour down to my jawline, um, and this just helps make the face appear a little bit more slim and just makes everything kind of blend together and look seamless. Of course, I bring it down to my neck just so that we all look the same. And this is a really cool trick. I am contouring my lips here, um, so I use one of the lighter brown shades, and I go on the bottom and the top of my lip, and it actually makes my lips appear more full. And then I wanted to darken up my nose contour a little bit more. As you can see, it's looking a little bit more slim. Then I'm setting my face. I'm using my trusty Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I wanted to set those under eyes before they got too heavy. And then I also wanted to um, carve out my cheekbones a little bit more um, just because the contour came out a little harsh. And of course, while you wait, take some selfies, girl, then dust it off. I've noticed lately that I've started getting oily around my nose and on my chin. So I've been using this oil control press powder from Ofra with my Real Technique setting brush and I'm loving it. This powder helps my oilier areas stay matte all day. I highly recommend it. I'm sure you already know by now, but for my brows, I'm using Benefits Cabral in the shade 4. I've been trying to figure out what I love so much about this product and I think it has to be a combination of the brush that it comes with, which you can see that I'm using now, and the overall creamy butteriness of the pomade. So the brush I really like because it is dense and it's small, so you can really control what you're doing. The denseness of the brush helps you pick up just kind of the right amount of product, and then just the creamy product helps so that you can blend it out and create like really dark strokes or also really light ones. You see that the end of my brow is pretty dark and then I can use less pressure and use a lighter touch and I can have these soft feathery strokes to help create a more natural side to my brow. Okay, I'm gonna use the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. I'm using the color Transition with my Morphe E27 just to create some definition on my eye. Next, I'm using the color Wine and Dine with a Morphe brush. Um, to add this color and to buff it into my crease. As you can see, it's definitely really bright and red. I wanted to go for the more toned down cranberry look, so what I did is I just used that E27 to buff it and blend it a little bit more. Then I'm using a Boga Cheese smudge brush with the color Teddy Bear to add even more definition. Next, I'm using the color So Jelly on a flat brush sprayed with Max Fix Plus 
to pack on that color. You can see that it is intense and it is gorgeous. Then I'm just taking that same smudge brush and I am just blending it all together so it looks seamless and smooth and finished. Next I'm using the colors crystal and blue to create my inner corner highlight as well as my brow bone highlight. Then I'm going in again with that wine and dine color on my lower lash line and just smudging it out. I didn't want to wear any falsies with this look so I'm just curling my lashes and then going in with the new Maybelline Big Shot Mascara which is incredible. I've been wearing this non-stop. I highly recommend it. It is such a great option from the drugstore and as you can see it looks banging with this eye look. Yes honey, work. Next for blush, I'm using this gorgeous color from Wet n Wild in the color Rose Champagne with an angle brush from Arbonne just on the high points of my face on my cheekbones. Then I'm going in with highlight, of course this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow. And I just want to be highlighted so that you can see me from out of space. You already know where we place the highlight. I love it, it's pigmented, use your fingers, use a brush, whatever you want to do. Next I'm using this Essence Lip Liner just to create a base for my favorite new liquid lipstick, Liquid Cat Suit, in the color Berry Recognized from Wet n Wild. This was my first time using it, so you're seeing my reaction on camera. I was surprised at how beautiful this color was, and how pigmented it was, and I will tell you from wearing it all day, from I think 11 a.m. when I filmed this, to midnight, it stayed on beautifully, and I got so many compliments. Yes, I highly recommend it. Great option from the drugstore. Well, that concludes my Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And in the meantime, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment and hit that like, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.